Hi guys, this is Serge from WooCommerceThesisIntegration.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to install and to configure WP SEO Thesis Integrator plugin. Before we start, just a couple of words about what this plugin does. As you guys know, uh, Thesis theme actually has some SEO features which are really nice and you may control all sorts of things about SEO on your websites but it doesn't handle some of the features for example like sitemaps or breadcrumbs so in order to have those features and uh, some more cool features you might need for your website the perfect solution would be to go with a WP SEO by Yoast plugin which is free and you may download it from uh, WordPress repository uh, which is a well-known plugin as well and you guys know that Yoast is actually the guy to talk about SEO. So, uh, when you're using WP SEO plugin with thesis theme, there are some conflicts like double meta descriptions and some other stuff. So, this plugin WP SEO thesis integrator actually removes those conflicts and enables you to use the WP SEO plugin and thesis theme in the same time on your website. So, in order to download it, you uh, need to go to this page uh, in the, on the shop uh, WPS your thesis integrator, and you just add it to cart. You fill in the payments, and you will be taken to the download screen. Uh, once you're logged into the website, you just go to your client's homepage here where you will see all available downloads and you need to find WP SEO thesis integrator file. So you just download that to your computer and you save it as a zip file. So uh, here uh, this is a test site where I'm gonna to implement the WP SEO thesis integrator plugin and I'm gonna show you how to configure it on the thesis theme. So what you do, you go to your dashboard first and you start by installing uh, WP SEO plugin by Yoast. In order to do that, you just go to plugins, add new here. And in the search box you type WP SEO by Yoast. And you search for plugin. So you will see that it will appear here under the list. Uh, you just make sure that this is the right plugin. It should be named the WordPress SEO by Yoast uh, and by Just the Walk. So you install the plugin. You confirm. The website will start downloading the plugin package. Once it is done, uh, you may activate the plugin right here on this screen. takes some time to download you just need to wait up to the end on this screen before the plugin uh, can be activated So here we go, uh, we've got our plugin installed and you just click the activate plugin link here so the plugin is active. Uh, when you first install this plugin it will actually ask you if you allow tracking of some uh, activity of the plugin. Uh, I will not allow tracking for the moment. Uh, then, as you see, you've got this plugin enabled and you see the plugin options appearing here. So, next step would be actually to install the uh, WPS your thesis integrator plugin. So, you just click add new here, and instead of uh, searching in the plugin repository, you go to upload, you choose the file from your computer. So, it should be uh, WPS your thesis integrator 1.4 uh, version. A zip file so you just open it and you install the plugin. 
Once the plugin is installed, you just click the Activate plugin link here. So here you go, the plugin is active. Uh, next step uh, in the configuration of this plugin would be actually to add the title tag to your uh, thesis head editor. So you go to thesis and here on the site menu you will see HTML head link here. So just hit there and you will see that you have uh, two boxes in your head section which are actually style sheets and head scripts. So we need to add a new box which is called title. You just add that box here. Uh, you press your shift key and you drag this box into the active boxes area here. Once it is done, there is no options for this box. You just save the HTML head. So here we go. Uh, the plugin is configured. Uh, and now when you go to your website you will see that the uh, meta title is actually working properly then um, I will leave you to explore the options of uh, WPSU plugin and you have a lot of videos and uh, tutorials about how to use that plugin uh, also in this video I would like to cover how to add the your breadcrumbs to your website because this is one of the features which is really searched by users. So uh, in order to do that, you need to go on the SEO internal links and you enable uh, breadcrumbs here. So you just enable them and you save settings. Then you need to configure the, uh, the, the things here. So for example, here uh, as a separator, we will be using uh, uh, this arrow, then uh, for uh, text for the home page we will type home, uh, then for your here, um, for the archives, uh, whether you are using any prefix for the archives uh, or not, uh, then for the search page breadcrumbs, Search here archives nothing found. Uh, then you have some options whether to remove the uh, blog page from breadcrumbs or you, you're going to use that page. I, I'm using that page. Then you uh, also may add the taxonomy to show for uh, breadcrumbs, for example, the category for the posts if you're using categories. And then uh, you have the option to pull the last page in breadcrumbs, actually the uh, page you are visiting right now. So you check that option as well and you save settings. Uh, so uh, if you go to the uh, blog for example right now you will not see any breadcrumbs at all at the moment. We need to add that uh, feature here on the above the blog post. So you just go to a thesis skin editor by clicking this button to do the template. So uh, once you are here you may choose uh, where to place the breadcrumbs, for example, in the content column above the WP loop. So, uh, you need to find the box which will actually display the breadcrumbs, which is your breadcrumbs. Then you press your shift button and you place the box where you need to see it. So, just above the WP loop. You have some options here. Uh, if you would like to specify the ID for styling or the class, you may enter them here. You hit OK button and you save the type. So you may go and check your uh, home page with the breadcrumbs on your website. So here you go. You've got your breadcrumbs enabled. Next step would be actually to add the breadcrumbs to uh, your single boss. So just go to any single post page and you click the edit button here. 
to do the thesis template. So you will find that there is uh, your breadcrumbs here. So you add that box to this template the same manner you did for the previous one. So you just drag it here and you place it. Then you save template. So when you go to your blog page or any singular post, so you will see that uh, you've got the breadcrumbs enabled. You may do it for any uh, thesis template you have. Uh, if you are using custom post types, it will be displayed as well. Uh, then you may do it for uh, category pages as well. So here you have category template. So we're gonna do the same stuff for this. Just find your breadcrumb, you add the box, and you place it in the same place as you did on the other templates. Just here on the content column, and you save template. So when you go and view your website. So you go to blog, and for example, this post. So you've got category here. So here you go. You've got your uh, breadcrumbs enabled. So that's it ab uh, about the configuration of this plugin. Uh, I will leave you explore the options and uh, tell me what you think in the comments under this video or uh, feel free to email me from my main website. Cheers guys!